Hi everyone. So this is my last weekend in Paris before I Eurostar back to London. It's been an intense three weeks uh, looking after my back, which uh, got damaged um, at a Zoom uh, located uh, Ashtanga class and you know taking care of other stuff for work for our law firm Krefovi and also um, taking care of myself so yeah so um, it's been useful to go back to Paris after um, around three uh, four months in uh, London where I just couldn't move because of all the lockdown rules um, it, it's um, so important I mean what I have uh, sorry what I have been taught by this uh, whole experience is that um, it's so important to be able to seamlessly um, move around you know between countries where you work and it becomes really very difficult to run a business when you can't move from one place to the other uh, you know in a seamless manner thank god Paris and London are already separated by two hours on the Eurostar but basically between January and, and March it was impossible to uh, to circulate so uh, yeah so things are getting better apparently on tomorrow on the 17th of May Monday we're going to also have some new rules in relation to the uh, ease like the easing of rules uh, when you come back um, to the UK apparently before the 17th of May it was necessary to do two P uh, PCR COVID test one when you arrive on the second day and then another one when you you've been back in the UK for eight days so I don't tell you about the cost I mean it's just so expensive because of course the NHS doesn't pay for this sort of stuff so you've got to go private and it costs you 100 you know 120 pounds each time you do a PCR test so basically it costs you three times your the amount of your Eurostar tickets just to go for, uh, one way uh, Paris London which is just getting ridiculous I really hate the Tories and their stupid regulations I mean wouldn't it have been more just easier to make it possible for people to do these type of tests on the NHS going to the NHS surgery very simply and being able to do the COVID-19 test there free of charge wouldn't have been more like sensible like like the way it is done in France where you don't have to pay for yourself or this PCR test what is the point here um, I, re I really am baffled by the policies of this uh, of this uh, current government in the UK but hey apparently the Brits like it because what did they do when well, they voted um, Tories against Again. so there you go um, I really feel at the moment there's a disconnect between how we feel at Krefovi and you know how most of the UK people think and feel uh, which is to me from when I see this just being super racist super egocentric super centered self-centered and um, completely narrow-minded um, my, my take on it um, you know hopefully the Scots are going to uh, uh, make a point and show to uh, the rest of uh, the United Kingdom but basically when you isolate yourself and you basically um, catch yourself from the rest of Europe there's no project you know there's no it doesn't seem it doesn't flow seamlessly you, you can't do business in the in continental Europe anymore because uh, you look there's no banking license yet you can get now to do business out of the UK to sell some uh, banking products and other finance uh, products to the rest of uh, uh, Europe it's very difficult to circulate as I just mentioned hopefully this is like a temporary situation due to COVID um, but I read also recently in the press that uh, an Italian citizen got um, uh, deported to some immigration centers by the home office while she visited a cousin in the UK I mean hello hello what was that about um, so there's a sort of climate of anxiety uh, you know a fear that is most very much uh, entertained and developed by the, the Tories that this current UK government which frankly um, just disgusts me uh, it just disgusts me there's no other word so well um, you know we're going back to London we're going back to the UK making the most of our life in uh, London which is the city I love the most in the world to be honest and then Los Angeles and perhaps maybe third place Paris but 
I'm not sure. Paris is always complicated for me. But anyway, um, so we, we're looking forward to going back to London for sure, because as I said, uh, this is my most preferred city in the world. I love it. Uh, uh, like it's heterogeneity, it's eclecticity, it's uh, um, gathering of you know so many different cultures but frankly I mean at the moment I really have like a culture shock with, 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 with the British people to be honest um, I don't you know frequent Scots and uh, Irish people so I can't really say about them or Welsh people I'm not very I haven't been sadly able to go to a Hay festival this year um, in, in, in May June because of the, um, the lockdown situation but um, yeah, I really do feel there's a dichotomy in, in my way of thinking and the way of thinking of of, uh, of, of you know British people. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I find it quite intense, to be honest. And um, I'm I'm saddened that this is the way uh, most uh, UK people, most uh, um, yeah, most uh, UK people are, are choosing the, the, the future of a country. I think it um, really is going to make uh, the UK more and more uh, at the fringes of Europe. Um, that's a shame, really. London, hopefully, will keep on to be um, a um, economic and financial centre in Europe. Hopefully, especially for creative industries, which we look after. But. Um, um, yeah, I'm quite concerned about the rest of the situation and it's about time that there is a change of guard like um, it happened in the US with uh, with Trump being, uh, you know, uh, exited swiftly by the US people when they noticed that this person had absolutely nothing to do at the head of the state. And so um, I hope this change of guard which happened in the US, uh, like, five or six months ago now, I think, will also happen in the UK because they really do need to take, you know, to basically land and have this, um, basically this realization, this awareness that this is not working. This is not working. This government is just not doing well here. Um, there's no project for the UK, you know, in terms of uh, economic development, in terms of uh, business plan to actually make the economy grow. There's, there's nothing. There's just uh, uh, let's uh, retire in splendid isolation um, on our island um, and um, and fuck off, you know, the rest of the world. I mean, it's like what? How can you actually sustain an economy with this sort of thinking? I, I don't know. Anyway, my heart stands uh, and stays with London in the United Kingdom, so I'm delighted to go back to London soon. And also, I finally will be able to go back to my. Um, you know, in-person uh, yoga classes at Tri-Yoga in Camden. So that, I'm really looking forward to that uh, from the 17th of May onwards. So that's so cool because here in Paris, for example, it's still lockdown. So most non-essential shops are actually closed. Um, yeah. And um, so, look, I um, definitely keep a positive outlook um, for us at Ecrefoe for sure, because, you know, creative endeavors will keep on going. But I do not understand why the UK government is making it so difficult for the creative industries to do productive business since Brexit, you know, and this is this decision has been taken on in 2016. Um, and since then, the economy has been sluggish in the UK and it's getting worse and worse, you know, because of the lockdowns and the, uh, of course, the pandemic. So that is something that, of course, all states had to um, contend with. But the Brexit effects are just horrendous, you know, um, so many companies have to set up some secondary office and, and branches and subsidiaries in uh, one country in uh, the continental Europe to be able to keep on doing good business, you know, to avoid custom duties, taxes, etc. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense from a rational standpoint and an economic standpoint. So am I missing something here? I mean, why is it that the majority of UK people are taking decisions with something else than they, you know, mind they had, right, with their grey cells? What, what are they using to, to do some decision making here? What? Their guts? Their sexual organs? Their heart? I doubt that this is their heart who is actually asking, asking them to become so racist. But anyway, so I'm baffled. So I feel at the moment very um, uh, detached, even conflicted with the way most UK people think and behave. But hey, I don't have to hang out with them, so it's okay. And uh, in my uh, uh, various, you know, uh, 
endeavors with people I am um, uh, in contact with in London, uh, I am very picky and choosy and make sure that I don't uh, hang out. I mean, I hang out with the right crowd. So bye for now. And um, I look forward to uh, giving you a new update in a new video very soon. Bye now.